Hi everyone, my name is Sai Karan. I am an integration developer at Techie Geek Hub Software Solutions. Today we are going to discuss about Snowflake connector configuration in Boomi. So Snowflake is a cloud-based data warehousing platform. It is used for multiple corporates to integrate their data into the Snowflake. So Snowflake can be used to integrate with multiple CRMs or any ERPs as well. So the main advantage of the Snowflake, Snowflake is it is offering a cloud-based platform where we can use any of the clouds like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. So with the help of cloud, it is offering a high availability. Due to that reason, most of the corporate companies use Snowflake for the data warehousing. Now coming to Boomi, we will see how we will create a Snowflake account for a developer trial account. And we will see how we can configure that in Boomi. Let's jump into the Snowflake developer platform. So let's search for Snowflake developer account. So you can see developers.snowflake.com. Please click on this link and click start free here. So here at the right side top, click on start free. So fill the details according to your names and all. Okay. Don't forget to mention this organization email ID. and your company. So I'm choosing developer here. Let me check here. So continue with that. And you can choose any cloud offering here and set it as default for the enterprise only. So these are all just a survey, we can skip that. Then you can see they have sent an email link with an activation link for our particular email address. Now when I go to my mailbox, I got a link and I'm clicking to activate it here. So it is redirected to my default browser now. Okay, here I'm using my Username. Click on get started. We have a 30 days free trial left. So our default role here is account admin. And you can see your username. Okay. Now we will see how to create a database and a schema inside that. So for that, click on this data option. And you can see we have Snowflake and Snowflake sample data. This is one of the database which I have created. Now I will show you how we can create them. Go to the worksheets and click on new worksheet. Choose SQL worksheet. Here we need to type a query for that.
So here is the query. We need to create database and give a name for your database. Okay. And click on the run button. See, database TikTok demo has successfully created. Now, we will choose this database and create a schema inside this. For that, I'm writing the query for right now. So we have in the first line of command, we are using this database. Inside that, we are creating a schema. Now run this query. So our schema is successfully created. Let's refresh this snowflake. So here you can see Tech Talk demo is a scheme, uh, database and Tech Talk schema is the schema here. Now we will connect uh, like our schema and database is successfully loaded. We will go to Boomi and see how we can configure the connection. Now click on create new and choose a connection, you will choose Snowflake. There are by default, some of the options will be configured here. You will see what are those. So connection URL is already given, but we need to change the account name. So we will get this account name if you go to our URL. Now we will see how we can configure this connection. So we should change this account name. So let's go to the developer portal. In the developer portal, click on admin, scroll down, go to the accounts. Here you can see this is your account. Accounts, current URL. So you can also get that from here. Okay, copy this. You can see location URL is copied to your clipboard. Go to Boomi now. And only get this one until AWS. Take care of the dots and all. And after that, you can go for the username. So my username is this one. And I already entered the password. So by default, we have this compute WH warehouse. So this we will keep it like that. We created a database. Now we will go to Snowflake and choose our database. And next one is the schema name. We also created a schema. We are choosing that one now. So the next one is the role. So right by default, we have this sys admin role here. You can choose whatever the role that you have assigned by your corporate organization. 
So right now we have used admin role, like account admin. We will use that. See, account in account admin, we have created this schema, the schema and the database. So this is not required. It is populating because of my browser. So now we will test the connection with the help of an atom. So you can choose any atom for this because this is a cloud-based offering. So test connection is successful. But one more thing we need to take care of is what about the atom which we are testing, right? That should consist Snowflake jar file. So Snowflake is not a default one here. So we should go to the Maven repository. And in the Maven repository, choose Snowflake. So you can go with the first one. So here, try to download a jar file, which is having high number of users and no vulnerabilities. So I'm choosing this one. Okay. Now click on this jar. Here you can see a jar option 31.9 MB. Now it is downloaded into your system. So once this is successfully downloaded, we need to deploy this one as a custom library into our particular runtime engine. For that, what we will do is so we will save this one. You will go to the atom management and choose our runtime engine. and click on the install libraries. Now search for Snowflake. Right now I already have a Snowflake in my system. That is the reason it is showing to me. So in your system, it will not be there. So for that, we will go to the settings and we will go to the account information and setup. So for that, we have an account libraries, click on that and upload the file which you have chosen, which you have downloaded currently. So we have chosen that, we will click on upload. Okay. So we already have multiple Snowflake drivers here. See, you can see we have uploaded multiple times. So after this, successfully uploading of this, now go to your Bumi integration tab, integration as a service. So create new and we will choose custom library. So the custom library type is, we choose a connector now. Okay, we will choose snowflake connector. We already have Snowflake jar files, which we have uploaded. We will choose the particular jar file and save. Okay. Now create a package component. And deploy it to the targeted runtime engine. Once we deployed this jar file into our runtime engine, please restart your runtime engine. Then only you can find the jar file in your libraries. Thank you for watching. If you like the content, please click on the like button. If you want more content like this, 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल